The third uh, major area of difficulty has to do with human nature. Uh, not just the origins of human beings, um, but what it is inside of human beings that people take to be uh, tokens of the transcendent. For example, human moral beliefs or the human capacity to um, have hold religious beliefs. Those are areas, interestingly, which evolutionary theory by and large didn't touch uh, for the first 150 years, uh, but within the last several decades it has taken a run at. Those are challenging uh, issues. On the one hand, I, I think they should be challenging to the extent that we would um, end up completely reducing or deconstructing moral or religious beliefs uh, to material uh, reductive explanations. But the interesting thing there is many evolutionary theorists themselves uh, have questions about the efficacy of that, that move. On the other hand, there's some ways in which these ideas shouldn't be challenging. The Christian notion of embodiment, which is a distinctly biblical notion that somehow um, the good isn't just gnostically detached from our material bodies, but is instantiated into material bodies that God himself says are good. Uh, well, then the notions that certain proclivities toward uh, moral beliefs uh, or even beliefs in spiritual realities are built in to who we are. That's even a Pauline notion, you see it in Romans 1, for example, shouldn't be threatening at all.